Hey guys, this is Heretic and it's Thursday, August 12th, 2021. And in this video, we're going to go over the 11.6 update in detail. So what's new in this update? Well, one we have, let's go through this really quickly. Uh, we have the classic event, Cocktail Night. This is basically you pick someone and you give them a drink. Um, and with that, you can get new Lord portraits and other amazing things. Um, the big thing in this update is the Holy Eagle equipment set. And we'll go through this in detail and how that's going to affect your stats. Um, we have new chapters in Merlin's Trial. So as you get new equipment, they add another couple levels that you can go through um, to get items. Um, the new um, event, o Holy Eagle Trial, this is just because there's new um, equipment. So there's new, a new trial to go through here. Um, and t same thing, Time Lord targets... You know, there's doing that. Okay, so let's go through the optimizations really quickly. They've optimized the dragon audio. You hear different audio effects when touching the different parts of the dragon. I'm not really sure what that's about, but it's interesting. We'll check it out. Number two, um, if um, you're switching talents and you already have something like Colossal March activated, you'll get a pop-up message that comes up and lets you know that if you... If you switch talents, then you can no longer have your Colossal March or whatever you have activated still going. They've made it so that you have to be level 16 or above to receive uh, a gift envelope. Um, they've enhanced or made some changes to the Dragondale Clash event. This is an event that I know a few kingdoms in Solar have currently. They've optimized the rewards and exchangeable items for various events and stores, So, and, and this is where it's at. Um, they've replaced the Destruction Ingots with Imperium in the Alchemist Corner. In the Alliance Store, they've added Hellsbane, and they've replaced the Imperium that was there. They now have Holy Eagle Ingots in the Auction House. And they've changed the cost of Primal Offering to two Primal Dragons scales. This is kind of big. It was at five to do the, the basic cost, the basic um, offering there. They changed the cost of an Enchantment Inheritance to 30 Dragon Blood. They've replaced, um, these, are, these are kind of interesting. So on the forge, um, as you upgraded, you could go up to 22.5% steel cost reduction. They've changed that on your upgrades of the forge to, to be um, infantry attack. Um, and the same thing here on the, uh, on the, the knightly virtue, the titles that you get from your king or queen, it's gone from 5% steel cost reduction to 10% infantry damage. This one was kind of interesting. Um, I know a lot of people were talking about it. They've op optimized the castle attack conditions. A castle can only be attacked by an alliance with the same level or higher. What this is are the, the castles that are on the map. So these are the castles that you can take in Dominion. And I'm assuming in Seasons, but I may be wrong. Um, the smaller alliances won't be able to just go take all of those. Okay, so let's take a look in detail. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the big thing here, which is the new Holy Eagle set. Rank 11 armor. Wow. All right, so let's start by making comparison between your upgrade of Hellsbane to Holy Eagle Plate, looking at the plus five specifically, wherever you land in plus zero to plus five, it doesn't really matter. Um, but we're going to look at the overall potential that you can have here as far as increasing your stats. As you can see, both your troop and your regular stats go up by more than 600 points 
on each of the items which are in many cases double or even tripled up. So on the boots, for example, on the plus five, you go from 1004 um, Bowman attack to 1610 Bowman attack with the Holy Eagle boots. The same thing goes for the helm and the sword where you see, for an example, your troop attack goes from 670 up to 1075 and your bowman attack will go from 1114 to 1788 so quite a bit of a jump there likewise with the neck and the ring you go up for an example troop attack from 530 to 851 on the necklace and on the ring you go up your cav defense from 1059 to 1699 so these are really really big upgrades um, what you'll see at the different levels is somewhat the same as far as an increase it may be it'll be a little bit less if you're at say a plus two but it's still quite a bit of an upgrade so let's look at the totals overall so for example, you go up troop attack overall from 2177 to 3494.5 potentially at plus five uh, with your equipment upgrade. Um, that is an increase of 1317.5 to all of your troop stats while your regular stats will increase from 2188 to 3398, which is an increase of 1280. Your enchantments are going to also increase quite a bit from 1350 on your troop to 2168 in the new enchantments to Holy Eagle for your troops. And your regular stats will go from 1313 to 2106, which is an increase for your troop enchantments of plus 818 and your regular stats will go up a potential of 793 so this is a really big upgrade for us so another couple things i want to go over real quick is that in the alliance store you can now get hell's bane you can get seven there and seven there a total of 14 per day instead of imperium which is a good update and also another really important upgrade here is if you look in the draconic altar for the offerings and instead of 10 it's gone down to two so it's gone down a lot here so to get 10 attempts offerings you it just costs 20 gold leaves now and for 100 it costs 200 Another update of note is the one that I've probably received the most questions on, and it's where it says that you can't attack a castle that is higher level than your alliance. And that doesn't mean that you can't attack a stronghold. It means you can't attack one of these castles on the map that's a higher level than your alliance. This is mostly going to affect brand new kingdoms. I'm not sure if it's going to apply to Seasons as well, which may still affect just um, newer kingdoms where the majority of alliances haven't already gone over level 5. Um, and while we're here, we can look. You know, we have a new limited quest, as you always would when you have an update, um, where you can get points and get some gold. And you have the um, destiny mark where you can go through and depending on how much gold you get, you can win items here. Some of the items include the earth sign emblem manuscripts, the new holy eagle ingots, Guinevere, and materials. All right, so that's update 11.6. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to tell your friends about the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Thank you.